watch as we share our reactions to Josh Wilding's eight villain-led movies that we need to see following Suicide Squad. We feel that one movie got the snub, while others were spot on. Check out our revised top five list, and be sure to check out the link in the description to Josh's full article over on comicbookmovie.com. Five, Sinestro. The Sinestro Corps is a more realistic movie that we could see after the scheduled 2020 Green Lantern Corps. Sinestro is so appealing because of his totalitarian methods, how he got his Green Lantern ring, and the fact he mentored Hal Jordan. There's a lot to work with as he appears time and time again in the comics. He could very well be the Loki-type character that could appear in subsequent movies following his solo gig. 4. Doctor Doom No villain has been boned harder by Hollywood than Doctor Doom. He is arguably one of the best villains Marvel has to offer, and his origin story has so much darkness attached to it. Marvel Studios would give us the Doctor Doom we deserve, but with the Fantastic Four franchise in the clutches of those fox bastards, it's hard to imagine that we'll ever see a solo film, or want to. Hashtag justice for Doctor Doom. Hmm? Three, Secret Six. Yes, the Secret Six has had many members throughout the years, but with the foundation that was laid in Suicide Squad, this group could make a tantalizing prequel or a sequel to the Suicide Squad, depending on the story, of course. Secret Six were promised a big payday, the plan went south, and the group eventually turned on each other for various reasons. It'd make for a great movie that wouldn't even have to have superheroes. 2. Dark Avengers Captain America's Civil War shook up the landscape for superheroes in the MCU, and more are coming in the Avengers Infinity War. There are some big possibilities for Norman Osborn's group of imposters, with Sentry, Ares, and Captain Marvel alongside disguised villains Moonstone, portraying Miss Marvel, Venom, Bullseye, and Dakin, there is a lot of damage this group could do. Due to rights issues, however, Dakin would need to be subbed out, hopefully for Howard the Duck. Numero uno, Sinister Six. With Spider-Man now out of purgatory and in the soft, gentle hands of Marvel Studios, we could unleash the power of the Sinister Six. Yes, the Sinister Six would be hard to pull off without the heavy use of Spider-Man. Sony's version of the Sinister Six was said to be a story of redemption, but that was before Marvel Studios got the use of Spider-Man back. With a proper story and villain lineup of Doc Ock, Sandman, Shocker, The Vulture, and Rhino and Electro, who wouldn't want to see that movie? Be sure to subscribe for more list reaction videos, movie trailers, and more.